okay uh, welcome viewers so in this video lecture we want to cover this topic uh, proof by contraposition okay or this is also called contrapositive method contra positive method sometime uh, it becomes uh, very difficult to solve the question uh, with the help of direct proof that is why we use contra positive method okay see we know that that uh, the direct method is p implies q when it is not possible to uh, prove this thing that uh, when the p statement is true then the q is also true uh, then we use contra positive uh, method okay and it is uh, uh, proved like this that negation of p implies negation of p okay negation of q implies negation of p see we know that this statement is logically equivalent to p implies q okay so if you somehow prove that that this is true uh, then from this we can say that that uh, this is also true okay and uh, using contra positive method we can solve the complex problems very easily okay so i just solve the uh, questions of contra positive method see the question is this that uh, if n is an integer and n square is odd okay then prove that that n is odd okay so you see that that here what is the p statement p statement is this that n square is odd okay n square is odd and what is the q statement q statement is this that n is odd okay now what is the negation of uh, p statement negation of p is n square is even and what is the negation of q negation of q is n is even okay so we want to show this thing that negation of q implies negation of p okay so it means that start the question from here okay uh, where it is given that n is an even number okay so the, uh, this statement is that n is uh, an even number as n is even so n can be written as 2 into k okay because every even integer can be expressed like this only okay 2 into some integer okay now what is the square of this n square n square mean 2k square so this is equal to actually 4k square but 4k can be written as 2 times 2k square okay uh, see as k is an integer so its square is also an integer and when you multiply it with 2 it is also an integer so it is 2 times m okay uh, because 2k square uh, it is equal to m and uh, which is an so you see that that n square has been expressed as 2 into m which is an even integer so it means that negation of q implies negation of p okay so it implies that that the p implies q okay p implies q mean that if n is an integer and n square is odd then n is odd so in this way uh, we have uh, proved this uh, question uh, okay uh, mean using the contra positive method i hope ki you people have understood it now we solve one more example of uh, the contra positive method uh, see here the next problem is this that if n is an integer okay uh, the question is this that p statement is this that if sorry the p statement is this that n is an integer and 3n plus 2 is odd then we want to show that that n is odd so what is the negation of p negation of p is this that 3n plus 2 is okay 
3n plus 2 is even and the negation of uh, q is n is okay so we want to prove this thing that the negation of uh, q implies negation of p okay so how to start the proof uh, as n is even so n can be written as 2 times k where k is some integer okay now we want to show that this is an even uh, number so what we do we write here 3n plus 2 uh, what is the value of n and value of n is 2k plus 2 so take 2 common from here then this is equal to 3k plus 1 uh, 3k plus 1 uh, you can uh, say it as m uh, 3k plus 1 uh, and 3k plus 1 what is it? it is an integer so this has been expressed as the uh, product of uh, or the multiple of 2 okay so 3n plus 2 has been expressed as multiple of 2 okay so it means that 3n plus 2 is even okay so uh, from this we can conclude that that uh, from this we can conclude that that negation of uh, negation of uh, q implies negation of p or you can say that that the p implies q okay so it means that if n is integer and 3n plus 2 is odd then n is odd okay thank you very much viewers for watching this video more about it will be discussed in the next video lecture